What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back. Or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the matrix and scoping out the crypto ocean. So if you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join uh, the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, today we'll listen to Casplex 2 Vision for Caspa by Juni from the Caspa Ecosystem Foundation, or KEF. In this talk, Juni dives into the purpose and design of Casplex, a later two solution aimed at enhancing the Caspa network. Oh yes, Caspa is about to roll out the first out of many catalysts. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Before we start, Crypto Crew, always remember to keep your crypto investments safe. Practicing self-custody is key, especially amidst the 2025 bull run. In my personal opinion, the Tangent Wallet is your best option. Plug and play, easy to use, and the most affordable cold storage out there. So if you wish to order your Tangent Wallet today, you can get 10% off using code CRYPTOCREW. Link in the description box below. Thank you for your consideration and support in advance. And may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you all. Crypto Crew, in today's video, you'll learn about Casplex's focus on real world asset issuers, developers, and the challenges of building a decentralized, user friendly ecosystem that Caspa is. Shout out to Cliff Choi. So, basically, Caspa is a layer to design that's to be implemented on Caspa network, right? And my topic chosen today is Caspa Ecosystem Foundation, or KEF. And I'm going to talk to you about the last question if something is about polar bears. And I will jump directly to explain what this means. All right. So I had this inspiration when inspiration from my hotel room bathroom. I saw this saying says, you know, uh, no showers make me feel nice, but leaves bears on thin ice, something like that. My immediate question of this thing is, I don't necessarily understand, you know, why I should care more about the bears instead of my own feelings in the shower room, right? The point here is that. When we try to design an L2 plan for implementation, I think if we really back the question, who do we want to serve? And is it always the case that we want to build an open network for all the developers? We think of course developers are important, but there are different scenarios and different categories existing out there and different priorities to replace for these different situations. So basically, the root of cost plans are twofold. The first is that we think we are facing some people like us. This is the three, like the border travelers and the you know the really you know not staff and not intelligent people like me. Um, but they are the real world asset issuers. They are the real world asset buyers, and they can be investors and they pay the fees for network views as very common and ordinary people. So it means that you know we don't necessarily understand anything about the code or about technical design, but we are still very important as we pay the fees of the network. Right? And for these people, we think the important feature for a layer to design is that it must be secure enough. And of course, it must be easy to use for easy for people to launch assets and to trade assets. It must have transparent cost. So people can do their masking, you know, what is my yield rate? If I cannot get a clear number of my cost of purchase, then I cannot calculate my rate of return, right? And of course, which I call as a core of polar bears are the developers as users, right? Because I think this is, you know, the code of, the code is more legacy we have in this world. Basically, we are saying that developers are so important, they develop products, and therefore they bring in the products. The priority is then to build an open down environment to make sure people can co-build and co-work with each other, but that doesn't necessarily apply to other users. So basically, starting from last July, that Cosplex successfully launched the TRC learning protocol, I want to highlight that a lot of the Cosplex communities is thriving with this platform. The so-called Cosplex name service, the so-called PRC 71 NFT, NFT service, and also the marketplace you have on PSP and Vault and Cosplex.com are essentially operating with this platform. Even though Cosplex doesn't shine itself as much, but in fact, this is factually true that they are providing this infrastructure for almost all of the current existing services and apps and products we have on the network. And what we also have done in the past week is that we released the testnet for the JKVM, which is at least one of the earliest smart contract platforms that should be built on Caspa. At the same time, I will emphasize that Caspa remains as a non-profit protocol initiative, 
which means they are not making any money out of it. To be honest, we understand there are certain wallet service providers and other so-called primary projects who made a lot of money out of these protocols. And again, we are very happy to see it as, you know, we think the community can create more value based on what we build. We're very proud of it. So I think, I will argue, here is money still successful, but not as successful as this fact. My reasoning evidence is essentially that this increases income and revenue for miners. And miners were, you know, mostly not that loud or expressive on Twitter posts. They are indeed the basic safety net of the security of this network, right? And essentially, we see this PR very large as an attempt to enhance the security budget for the minor network. However, we also recognize that you know there are some not so pleasant parts. For instance, we almost have you know all the 2,000 tokens are meme tokens. There is no you know really famous IDs attached, and we don't really have the cost or KR20 versus UFT trading pairs. And so once you make a money with the KR20 inscription, you have to sell it for cost and have to sell cost for US dollars and then make the money. And we also see that the, you know, the wallet, the marketplace the infrastructure service is limited. So very similar to an NFT marketplace or PRC20 marketplace, you can only make a sell order on the Caspa marketplace so far, which makes the market and buyers fail to realize if some people want to buy this thing. So you can only see how many people want to sell things at a certain price, and we think it actually prevents price pumping from happening. I mean, for here, I token, but for Caspa. So we think that we receive certain not so reasonable criticism that, you know, somehow we are irrelevant to KRB 15. But the truth is that KRB 15 is just a layer one infrastructure that any L2s that build on Caspa can be using, right? So of course, KRB will be implemented, implemented on Caspa 2020, and of course, also on Ebra, which will uh, demonstrate the project after me. Um, but we will argue that KRB 15 is just you know, an exclusive thing belonging to any specific layer two. We argue the feature of providing secure access, the feature of providing convenience of launch and trading with transparent costs is appropriate and sufficient for any people who want to launch assets in this, the black BlackRock or those kind of asset owners who are not developers. We say these are inserted protocols of global language written, but they are invulnerable to contract to attacks. And we also say it's efficient in preventive of state loads and so on. What's going on right now is that for the decentralization, we still require the launch or implementation of launch indexer by Cosplex so that anyone can run an indexer. But this, you know, it's not a technical constraint for decentralization, it's more like a hardware stuff. Of course, the bad part of this design is that, you know, it's not really programmable, it's not really extendable. So devs cannot build really on it, but again, this is not for devs anyway, so we are perfect happy with it. So Cosby is a perfect layer for you to achieve perfect consensus and con a, a decentralized sequencing, etc. But layer two should be exclusively used for computation. And we believe that building a DK phase zero of layer two is pretty consistent with the mainnet design anyways. But we believe that Cosby to deliver its mission needs to be as inclusive as possible. So if you're using the very mainstream and the most popular plan on the market, so it has to be inclusive of us as well. Cosplex is also making its own new wallet and services that supports both Cosplex currency, that is our Cosplex tokens, as well as Ethereum or ERC20 standard tokens. This means that if you want, you can just send your transactions to um, you know, layer one directly. So we believe a, a relayer is also important, especially when you know the developers only build their own world service, uh, new world services. Um, so they can just uh, test and build the apps there. Um, we offer the same thing as well, but we do want to notify that a relayer still potentially introduce the risk of centralization theoretically. Of course, I'm not saying you know um, any layer two here is going to do anything bad, but essentially this is a theoretical risk. And in the end, we still stand, you know, this is alignment, in alignment with the foundation stance. We don't support issuance of new tokens when you use rep pass or some mutation path as a piece. We argue that there are many challenges and it's very difficult to shift or move from EVM to the EVM after a launch. Although, again, I put all the tags here because I'm not really 
say all of those, because mostly that's for people who read it. Um, still, we don't think there's much difference for the non polar bear users who are not developers. And again, we are confident in that what Transplant is offering is good and sufficient for use of most audiences of the user base. We will be offering the smart contract systems um, to the customer community. And um, again, we are very comfortable and confident with what we're offering to the specific group of customers and users we're targeting. And we quite believe that's the you know, next power um, for customers to grow and to have more adoption in general. Thank you very much. More updates on Casper's catalyst succumb crypto crew, but Casper really is just getting started. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.